Will there ever be a video where I'm not sweating? That was a disaster night. I had to run here from my hostel because I was going to miss the boat. But here's the boat. I'm in Croatia. I'm actually in on an island called Sali, and I've just hired a uh, I've hired a bike for the day. But I can show you a top tip on how to eat in Croatia for free. Well, you don't hire the bike because that that costs money. Anyway, you find a fig tree, and you can tell a fig tree by these leaves here. And because it's sunny here, there should be some figs that are good to eat. Like this one, for example. It might be small, but wow, it's soft. Take it off of there. Take that top bit off. Open it up. Mm, that's really sweet. I'm gonna pick a few. Look at all the figs I've got. So many figs. I'm gonna eat them all. I already had a few to eat as well. This is how you do it. Biking life, island life, fig life, fig gang. Gang, gang, gang. This nature reserve should be good. It's about seven kilometers. It's not too bad, not too far. So. I'm on a bike. It's actually surprisingly easy to go up the hills on this bike. The setup's good. Good old setting. Let's see how pretty you are, Croatia. Literally, one bit of advice for anyone when you go traveling, when you go to the touristy areas, I mean, this place isn't touristy, but there's like 1,600 people that live on this island, and um, there's only like three boats a day, so there's not many tourists. But, nevertheless, every tourist just goes to the closest part, just walking like two minutes to the beach. I'm going for a 20-minute bike ride, so it's hardly long, and there's nobody about and the views you get but that's with anything even with like Lake Blair and all the main bids nobody wants to walk for like more than five minutes if you can like walk for half an hour you go to a secluded spot and there's not many people and you get to enjoy the place better so I'm looking forward to jumping in it's so hot <laughs> look at this it's so quiet there's a few lovely yachts I want to be on one of them but the start of the bike ride was hard but I think it's just flat now just by the sea so it's probably another like maybe 40 minute bike ride so I need to get some water on the way though the water's so clear and you know how Bruno loves clear water I'm about 500 meters away but it's uphill and I literally I could not go on without any water so I just waved down a car and really nice people they gave me two bottles and one of them was complete ice <sighs> look ah oh, I've never felt anything so good oh, so I'm gonna down a lot of this <sighs> bike seven kilometers to get here seven See if you can put it on there. We're going to go see the ocean organ now. You can kind of hear it in the distance. Uh, let's get a little bit closer look. Just got the uh, 
that bus runs at Arta Split. I'm going to the lakes tomorrow, Kirka Lakes. This guy's got a big old tongue. Making my way, it's not too early this morning, nine o'clock. I'm getting the catamaran to Havana. So, I've just come out of my hostel in Dubrovnik, uh, and this is really, really amazing for all those. Game of Thrones nerds out here. Obviously, you know, Dubrovnik they used a lot for the filming, but so my door is there. And if we walk down here for like 10 seconds, do you recognize it? It's where the Bay of Blackwater goes down, I think. And there's a few times when this that pier gets used because I remember from the episodes. Wow, look how clear the water is. I'm in the castle at Dubrovnik before, and I'm sitting down here. It's all here. Got to the top of Mount Surd, SRD, to watch the sunset over Croatia. What better way to end my last day than watching the sunset over Dubrovnik? <laughs> <laughs> 